afternoon, Arbitrary. Okay, so, um, uh, oh, oh, God. Uh, I don't have much time. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, um, I'll explain things quickly. So, uh, so, uh, Indigo may or may not have threatened me earlier. You know, held me hostage and all. She told me that if I didn't invite our friend out to the open, that she'd just kill me right there. And if you'd need to guess, well, that certain friend was her sister, Violet. So, um, naturally, as someone who values their life, I went ahead and agreed with her. Y you know, fulfilled her request. Maybe, kind of. I gave Violet an invitation to do a little, uh, outdoor broadcast, and said that we were gonna do some experimenting with a shotgun microphone and all that jazz, and then we had a special guest that would join her for a picnic, but whoo, boy, she saw through my every lie. She went, oh, you're just trying to get me to fall for some last minute trap, aren't you? And I said, well, maybe, I don't know, why would you think that? I was amazed when I heard her response. She said, well, actually, I absolutely love falling for traps. She said that she thought it was exciting. What the heck? She went into this knowing that it was a trap. I can't lie for a scrap, Arbitrary. If you put me in front of a lie detector, I would literally look at you in the eyes and tell you that it was unnecessary. I am my own lie detector. I can't lie at all. It's no wonder she was able to see straight through me. So, um, Indigo really wanted me to try and capture their conflict as best as I could with those uh, shotgun mics I was talking about. That part wasn't a lie. Just a part about the picnics, but uh, uh, oh dear, I've never actually done this before. Uh, how is this, how is this supposed to work? Oh, oh shucks. Okay, okay, um, okay, just bear with me. Violet, I'll kill you for what you did to her. To who again? My memory's a little foggy. Get it? Foggy? It's a reference. Dolores. I loved her more than anything. She was the only thing that I had left in this broken world, and you took her away from me! Did I... or did I save her from you? You heard that recording of her death like everyone else. She didn't care about you. She didn't even mention you. The only person she remembered was me. How could you kill her like that? How could you take her life? She loved you, Violet. Doris fucking loved you. And that's how you repay her? That's how you thank her for all her affection? You fucking kill her? Why? Why not? She was annoying. More than that, she was fucking obsessed. So, I put her in the dirt. <laughs> that was it. That's really all there was? All the suffering that you put me through. All that pain that I endured watching her die. Just because you were bored of her. You threw her away like some kind of broken toy. Like she didn't even matter to you. Violet, for Dolores' sake, I'm going to split you open and tear you apart! <laughs> oh no! I'm so scared! You wanna dance? Let's dance! <laughs> hey ya, uh, hey ya, uh, hey ya! Uh, it was getting kind of violent, so I thought I would bring it back, and oh my god, this is really not gonna like this. Okay, she's uh, <laughs> oh, she's gonna be furious with me. Speaking of which, it's her actually doesn't really like me very much, huh? I mean, she hasn't really been spending much time on broadcast because, like, she doesn't want to be spending time with with me. That's literally her whole reason. Isn't that petty? I'm not sure why she doesn't like me very much. I mean, she used to be quite fond of me. But, uh, I guess that there are more important things going on right now, huh? The sisters are feuding! Their battle is so powerful that it seems to be filling the skies with different shades of indigo and violet. It looks like their conflicts could even be tearing apart reality as we know it! To see two real, powerful colors fighting like that. Holy mother of... Jesus Christ! They're splitting the sky apart! Everyone, run! Get inside! Run! Where do you get that power from? Say her fucking name! Are you that driven to kill me over some stupid bitch? What's her fucking name? 
hell they want her goddamn nameless! I want to hear her while you fucking bleed! Dolores, my love, you can finally rest easily. You're safe now. <laughs>